Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you 9 cool features of Microsoft Edge. Some of these features have not yet been implemented in other browsers and using them in Edge makes your productivity quite good. Let's begin. This this feature is quite good. Like you are reading a document, and you scrolling, 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 you just oh, this content is blocked. How do you go about it and then you, you want to like get access to this what you just do you just click here immersive with them with and boom you the blog content is 100 percent available for you let's see you see the feature is just good and one thing with this is let me also show you like this other page here it, there's ad, advert here so you want to use the immersive reader mode you just turn it on and it will it will take off all the adverts on the page you just focus mainly on the content you can do your settings how you want the content should be line focus everything you just like lot of settings here i hope you check it out read aloud features here i think this feature has been on edge for quite a long time and it helps a lot it helps a lot let's see let me just click on it 20 awesome google sheets spreadsheet tips and tricks when you get you see but i, I wouldn't expect you to keep opening every page and using read aloud features what you do is when you open your pdf your documents on microsoft edge you can just use the read aloud feature it makes things you set your voice okay, which which language and everything the speed everything you just lot of customization and i hope you are enjoying it the, the other feature i'll be cool feature I'll, I'll be sharing with you guys is The PDF reader. Let me open my a PDF document here. You see, once you open your PDF document, you have a lot of features. Let, let's try the read aloud. Carrot training guide write up for carrot program. Who we are looking for? We are looking for coders who are good at competitive. You see. You said you could customize the voice, do everything you like. If it is too fast, you reduce it. And apart from that, apart from customizing the voice, you have add text. You could easily put your text here, type in anything you want, it's safe. You could draw. Maybe you want to sign the document, do drawing, highlight anything the pdf reader has been one of the best features you enjoy on microsoft edge for a long time it has been implemented compared to other browsers but one thing for now is the undo the, the undo control z is not yet there so you need to be careful and the other feature we'll be sharing with you guys
screenshot. Most of you have been familiar with screenshotting your screen or just capturing a particular section of the screen. But this feature, the scrollable screenshot, some browser has have it, but I just enjoying the one with Microsoft Edge. If you're on Mac, you press Ctrl Command Shift X on Mac. If you're on Windows, you press Ctrl Shift X. Ctrl Shift X. You see? Is it a particular section you want to capture or this the normal just capture a particular section of the screen? But this full capture full page that has a scrollable screenshot. You see? You see? You have your whole page. Then you save, you could erase put some text uh, on something just and you are good to go this feature is quite good and I, you've been looking to like capture a, a full page turn them to pdf uh, this will help you a lot then the other feature i'll be sharing with you guys is This feature it makes you you don't need to like be switching tabs and you just do everything on the same page and you get you focus. Yeah, you can just highlight right click and you see search in sidebar. You see, you see, search anything you want in the sidebar. If you want to be on, you want to open it on a new tab, do but uh, as far as you are not. This search bar is quite okay. You search anything and you focus on your content and you keep searching. But if you're on Mac, the shortcut is Command Shift E. If you're on Windows, it's Control Shift E. So the other feature I will be the next feature I'll be sharing with you with you guys. content to collections yeah you can see it here eh? these are your collections here eh? so <laughs> let me yeah maybe i'll be just looking on this thing this spider-man i want to keep some things about this thing like yeah i want to come back to later let me create a new collection let me see spider spider-man yeah i've created this so i could right click on the page i could say add page to collection this collection spider-man collection and i could open it let me open the collection on the side let me pin it okay this picture i want to add it to collection also you see so here this particular text i want to keep this maybe it's a quote a quote i want to keep it added to the collection also at least you can drag also you see these are cool features like this feature let me oh i want to remember this guy let me just save it you see these are cool features these are cool features and you could just click it and you take you whenever you open the collection it will take you back to the guys is the vertical tab vertical tab this feature is good yeah so let me switch on to the vertical tab let me do something let me turn on the vertical tab yeah here like here now we have the spider-man so let me right click 
Tá. Okay. Add tab to new group. So let me just create, let me say my new tab. Okay. So should I drag this guy here? Let me add, let me duplicate this. I have two tabs under my new tab group. You see? So why the vertical tab? This vertical tab is kind of fun. You like enjoying it. Because compared to Chrome, let me return it back to the... Let me return it back. Let me turn off the vertical tab. You see? This is the tab we are quite familiar with. If I should click on the new tab, you see? It will expand. But this vertical expansion, I don't kind of like it. So I prefer if it is on the vertical, you will just like see everything. This coming in, maybe I have like maybe five tabs under the tab groups, just expanding, closing. I don't kind of like it. Being on the vertical side, yeah. But I don't know, it's your choice, your option. But I think the vertical tab is kind of good. So the next option, the next cool stuff I want to be sharing with you guys is sleeping tab enabling the sleeping tag tab you, know, you have like here now I have a lot of tabs on you no know, some of them I'm not using them and they keep on occupying the using the resources of the system enabling the sleeping tabs if you just keep go on settings I have it open already but if you go on settings if you click on settings you come you click on system and performance so here you see save resources with sleeping tab if you enable it if you able enable it it you can set the time but the one is let me just change it never so here now i can set it okay i want this tab should be go to sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity so you know you have 10 tabs open you are just currently using two the other eight they will just automatically go to sleep after 30 minutes and once you open the tab it will come back to life you know you need to keep on saving those resources and on chrome you don't have this feature if you want to use it on chrome you need to like go to their chrome store and add the tab suspender that is the extension we keep doing mobile on edge is their default i hope you guys will. please i would like you people to subscribe this help this channel grow you know put down your comments let let me keep on doing this kind of things put your comments for encouragement or corrections i really appreciate it. so the other feature i'll be sharing code generator no, some other browser has this also but i think yeah adding it to one of these cool feature is quite it good most of you have used them and you no know, it's kind of good so here now i've opened this page under titan yeah then i want to share this page to someone i don't want to copy this long url of such type so you can just generate the qr code for this page and once your friend comes scan the qr page the qr code it will bring him here automatically so I want to generate the QR code for this page. What I just need to do is click on this QR, see, create QR code for this page. 
click on it it has generated the QR code so you don't need to copy the long URL you no know, errors might occur one or two things so you downloading this page this QR code as picture you just share the QR code to your friend once you scan the QR code and boom it's live and direct on this page same content yeah. please if you like this content kindly subscribe let it serve as a form of encouragement to keep doing this thing and please put down your comments corrections i really really appreciate thank you